projects are located in a rural, remote, uh, sometimes poor areas in South Africa. One of the commitments from the beginning, and it's something that we had clear from that time, is just to produce the highest impact in the, in the local communities. Previously, I have been involved with some amazing companies. However, this is the first time where I'm involved in a company that uh, ticks all the boxes. I look for a company that uh, takes the safety of their employees as a first priority. This is the case here. We are currently at close to a thousand LTI free days that we haven't had a single lost time injury. I look for a company that is ethical in their um, environmental um, aspects. In this case, we not only reduce carbon, we do not only create uh, green energy, but we also take other factors into consideration, like the biodiversity of the area, doing everything we can to meet all environmental compliance. We also reduce our water consumption, so I can't really ask uh, for anything better than this. Our primary focus is on economic development projects that is sustainable for the local communities that we operate in, including educational programs, infrastructure programs, and entrepreneurs development for the local communities and local entrepreneurs. One of the, the projects that we have, we call the internship program, okay, where we bring to the plant young people from the area, to give them training in the in what we do at the plant, and, and also with the idea of it's a final idea just uh, when a vacancy appears in the in the staff, these people to be the most uh, suitable candidates for occupying these positions. The first time I saw the plant, the first thing that caught my attention was these mirrors that are so high, because I'm not used to these type of plants, the concentrated plants. We usually just see the regular solar plants with those small solar panels. So this was actually the first thing that caught my attention when I got here. I went and did level 2 to level 4 electrical infrastructure and construction. After that I went to study electrical engineering and then while I was struggling to get an apprenticeship, this opportunity came up. Here in the Northern Cape we enjoy a lot of sun and also these plants give a lot of economic development to our local region. I first was exposed to the renewable energy plants while traveling to my high school in Uppington. I was intrigued by the renewable energy sector because it was so close to home. And also, in my university, I, I showed interest within the sector. So after I graduated, I started the internship program at Key Solar One. When the position became available at Zina Solar One, I moved over the side. I have been worried about climate change since I was a kid because I would still want the environment to remain the same in future. I'm the Deputy Operations Manager at Key Solar One. I've studied chemical engineering. My work has actually created a lot of interest within our community. Normally they come and ask for my mentorship in terms of the career path that they can take in order for them to be able to work here in future. My first experience when I visited this plant, I was so amazed because of the technologies. Basically, I didn't have any idea what these plants were and if anything with, with regards to re renewable energy. To date, I'm working three and a half years. I started as an intern chemist where I um, was exposed to all the different departments and just about a couple of months ago I was appointed as the plant coordinator. Every time I walk on the streets I have a lot of the youth coming up to me asking me questions about this plant, how it works. It's basically inspiring the youth to be future engineers. So I think this is a step in a very positive direction. The climate has changed a lot. When I grew up, it was around 37 daily. Now it reaches up to 51 degrees. This solar plant is a whole new opportunity for us youngsters. This plant brings a lot of job opportunities that we never had before. 